In the meantime, Republicans in South Carolina head to the polls tomorrow for the state's GOP primary. Nikki Haley faces an uphill battle against Donald Trump in her home state. The latest CBS News poll finds the former president holds a commanding lead in the former governor's state. And once again, reproductive rights are dominating the race. The latest debate stems from the Alabama Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos used for in vitro fertilization, or IVF, have the same legal rights as children. Robert Costa has details from Charleston. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley worked to turn out voters in her home state this Saturday. Got to get everybody to the polls. Everybody. Haley's comments this week on reproductive rights have come under scrutiny after the Alabama Supreme Court's controversial ruling that frozen embryos are considered babies. When you talk about an embryo, you are talking about, to me, um, that's a life. And so I do see where that's coming from when they talk about that. Since the ruling, three clinics in Alabama have put a pause on IVF treatments due to legal concerns. And now Haley is questioning the court's decision. We don't want them to stop doing IVF treatments. We need to make sure that embryos are protected. I personally believe an embryo is a baby. Not everybody's going to agree. That Thank you. Thank you. In Michigan, Vice President Kamala Harris addressed the issue and blamed former President Donald Trump for the Supreme Court justices he nominated and who later overturned Roe v. Wade. So on the one hand, the proponents are saying that an individual doesn't have a right to end an unwanted pregnancy. And on the other hand, the individual does not have a right to start a family. In last week's ruling, Alabama Chief Justice Tom Parker, an elected Republican, cited Bible scripture in his opinion, writing human life cannot be wrongfully destroyed without incurring the wrath of a holy God. No one will be touching the cross of Christ under the Trump administration, I swear to you. While Trump hasn't commented on the Alabama ruling, last night he spoke of his pledge to continue supporting abortion rights opponents during his speech to religious broadcasters in Tennessee. I withstood vicious attacks to pick and confirm three great Supreme Court justices. From my first day in office, I took historic action to protect the unborn. We have to bring back Christianity in this country. Later today, Trump will be back in South Carolina, where polling shows he has a more than 30-point advantage. But Haley's allies are urging her to stay in the race in case Trump stumbles later this year or is convicted in a trial. Anne-Marie. All right, Bob, thank you. Well, CBS News campaign reporter Torian Small is joining us now. Uh, uh, boy, it, the rain has been coming down all morning long there, Torian, so I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, let's talk about this IVF ruling and how it's impacting the race. Nikki Haley, uh, once again, you know, seemed to be struggling a little bit with the messaging here. Um, how has this impacted her campaigning? Yeah, and Marie, it certainly complicates her plan to convince independent and maybe moderate Democrats to go underneath her tent here. Uh, she understands that a state like South Carolina is firmly Trump country, and CBS News polling definitely shows that as well. Trump is uh, up 35 points over the former South Carolina governor. So she's looking as she continues on in this race to maybe persuade so, uh, those non-traditional conservatives, uh, maybe independent, maybe Democrats. Democrats uh, to go into her camp, especially if they're not too satisfied with the top of the ticket. So Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Uh, but again, these gaffes like this, the Civil War comments that she's mm -hmm. made uh, previously only further complicates that mission. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, she has said that she's going to stay in the race at least until after Super Tuesday, which is really right around the corner. So let's talk about it. I mean, what can we expect for Super Tuesday? What states are we going to be watching the most? Yeah, so she released her schedule post Sunday. She's going to Michigan, Minnesota, uh, uh, California. She's also going to make a stop in Washington, D.C., and then North Carolina. Uh, what's interesting about this and this plan to keep forward, these are a lot of states that have more moderate conservatives. So she could pick up that support there over Donald Trump. But so far, she's zero to four in these contests to Donald Trump. Her goal is to collect as many delegates as possible. The magic number here is just over. 
over 1,200 delegates. So far, we haven't collected that much, but Trump's team is expecting to meet that number by mid or late March. And sorry again about the rain here. It's starting to cover up my camera lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I know you're slowly fading. Stay with us, Torian. No, it's okay. Uh, I see it's windy too, which is the worst combination wind and rain. So thank you so much.